everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. I didn't have a live stream last night. I'm sorry. Life got in the way. Um, I have a feeling I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a, a heads up that I probably won't be having very many live streams in the near future because I've got a lot of things going on and you know, I will pick them back up, but for right now, there may not be very many. So stick with me. So it's 90 degrees. It's 9.15 or something like that right now in the morning. We've had 100 degree weather and up. Yesterday, I believe it was 106. I'm in Houston, by the way. Hi, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for coming. All right, so we're on our way to the vet. I don't know if you can see the little babies back there, but now you probably can. Every month we go to the vet for a shot. One of my dogs gets a shot. And so that's what we're doing. And it is just something, I was just really thankful that I can work from home most of the time because our vet stopped being open on Saturdays. Uh, during COVID and they just never picked it back up So we're at the vet a lot <laughs> For one thing or another All right, what I wanted to talk about and I need some tips from you guys Because I really don't know what I'm gonna do. This has really become a problem yesterday was Sunday I sold two items yesterday that had already sold All right and you're probably like, oh, well, they probably sold on Poshmark. No, they didn't. And the reason I know that, for those of you who don't sell on Poshmark, Poshmark never deletes your sales. So I can go and look at my sales on Poshmark, and I can see all the way back to, like, 2018. I think that's when I started. Everything that sold in my store. And they're not there. All right, and these are not things that I had listed on Mercari when I was selling on Mercari. These are not things that I had listed on yeah, Etsy. Like, I haven't had Etsy for like five years, six years. These are just ordinary tunics. And I, I don't know where they are. Like, they had to have sold. They're not, they're not on my spreadsheet anymore the number has been replaced so the way my spreadsheet works is if I sell the number GO 164 I take it off of my spreadsheet and then the next time I need to list an item that has a geometric pattern it gets the number GO 164 and I do that because I have trouble with numbers reversing numbers and I don't want to have numbers that are in the four, five, six digits. That's why I don't do the consecutive numbers. It would drive me up the wall. So I do look for the items to see if like maybe I put them under 146, 16 and left off the four, one four. You know, I look at those. It's not they're not there. <clears throat> so yesterday, the first one, I messaged and I told her the situation. It was an item from 2021. It was not on Poshmark. And I told you guys last month or this past month, I took about 300 items down off of Poshmark that were listed in 2021. I had them coded in the title. And so I knew of those that were old. I'm no longer coding, by the way. I probably should, but I'm not takes a lot of time to code so they were not you know it wasn't on Poshmark and so I messaged her and told her you know it already sold and I think it sold in 2022 because the number that it was whatever it was the item that replaced it I always put when it was listed it was listed in 2022 and I told her that I said it looks like it was sold in 2022 sometime and I need to cancel this order. Let me know if it's okay. I'll refund you and I will send you a private coupon for 50% off 
your next transaction. And she was cool with that. And then last night I'm laying in bed, I get another sale. And this one kind of looked a little familiar to me. This top, I went over to Poshmark, it wasn't there. And it was replaced by another item. And normally I don't panic because I think, well, it's in the box, it's in the box. But the thing about it is, is that I did inventory on that box about three days ago. Now, when I say inventory, I look on Poshmark to see if it's listed on Poshmark. Because if it's listed on Poshmark, it should be listed on eBay. And, you know, it wasn't listed on Poshmark. And... So, I, you know, don't worry about it. I mean, guys, I really need help. I thought I was doing this right. Really, what I would have to do is I would have to print out my entire eBay inventory of over 3,500 items. And I would have to search for each one. I don't even know how many pages that would be on my printer. Um, I do inventory every day. But like I say, I'm looking for things that are in the box that are no longer listed. So I can relist them. Because I just can't print it out. So when I was laying in bed at last night trying to go to sleep, I was thinking about this. Right now, my first store category is by the type and the size. So like I have women's tops 1X, women's tops 2X, women's tops 3X. That That's my first category. My second category is when it was listed. What month? And we haven't had an eBay glitch knock on wood. A, a few years ago, you couldn't see when, when customers came to your store there was a glitch and on the left hand side there wasn't a way that they could search eBay categories it just kind of went away and so when it did that I switched to my store categories so they could at least see my categories women's tops women's jeans you know by size that would only happen one time and it really didn't happen for that long <clears throat> so I was really glad I had it well what I'm thinking is the only way I'm going to ever be able to print out from my eBay store active, and please correct me if I'm wrong, if you have a better way, please tell me, is to <clears throat> take those store categories, that, that first store category, move all of those to other, which is a category in itself, take all those old store categories down, and then, one by one, um, edit items and make my first store category the section in my inventory room. For instance, geometric, floral, stripe, black, tie-dye, straight leg, and put them in those store categories. And then when I'm ready to inventory the straight leg section, wouldn't be able to do it by box anymore. Well, I guess I could. I could pull up all the items that are in the straight leg category, print them. I have almost 250 items listed that are straight leg. So, I don't know how many, I think you, know, you can get 20 on a page. I do front and back. So, we're talking uh, 25, 30 pages printed out. And then do my inventory that way. I want to know what you guys think about that. The problem is, I have to edit each one individually. And, well, no, I really don't. I, I, should, I should change that. Um, I can, in my SKU number, 
I can find items that have GEO in the SKU number and I could bulk edit them and put them in the geometric section if I wanted to. There's some that it won't catch. You know, sometimes I put GO-1 and sometimes I put GO-1. space I'm trying to be consistent with that, but that's the only thing I could think of. And then do my inventory differently. Do it from eBay. Print it out. Please give me some pointers, guys. How do you do this? I'm tired of this happening. And again, you know, I can only inventory between, I don't know, 20 and 30 items a day, realistically. I don't have time to do more. But that one that I sold last night, that I just inventoried that box, I should have caught that. I would have caught that. And so it's not really going to change how often I do inventory, which sucks. I mean, I'm just, I'm poking along here. You know, there's no way. The only other thing I can do, <coughs> this is a thought. My sales are sucking right now, guys. I'm down like 20 something percent from last month. Like, I'm going to have enough money to pay my bills, but I may have to draw a little bit out of savings, to be honest. And and that's okay. I'm, I'm, that's the least of my worries right now is, I know y'all probably think, you know, sales are a big deal, Beth. They are, but this really bothers me that I have not got a handle on inventory 3,500 items. Like, I thought I was doing great, you know? So, I was going to go somewhere with that, and then I lost my train of thought. But anyway, what my, my main thing is that, oh yeah, so I'm just, I, I, it's a thought. I could take everything down. I could just completely take everything down. Um, I don't know what I would do with Poshmark. I guess for Poshmark, I would have to... Um, put it on vacation I don't know and then maybe not take the things down that I listed this month but everything else take it down and start completely over I hate to do that guys but two in one day really really I mean it's been a while since I've sold something that sold on eBay but this is a glitch I don't care what they say I've always told you guys to ask people if they can, would can, let you cancel and give them a 50% off coupon for their next person, person uh, purchase. Casey, Rockstar Flipper, did a video a couple of months ago, or maybe last month, saying that he didn't suggest that anymore because eBay was coming down on sellers who were encouraging people to cancel. And he was encouraging people to cancel out of stock. And take the hit. Well, that would have been two hits in one day, guys. That would not have been good. You can get your account taken down. I don't know what the number is. I don't know if it's three, five, ten, but I know for a fact that canceling when you're out of stock is a very, very bad idea. I have seen it with other sellers have their accounts taken down for that. And any other accounts that they have that are linked to that, it's a no-go. I'm not willing to do that. I put too much time and energy into this business to lose it. So I will continue asking buyers if I can cancel the order. I mean, at least I'm being honest. Um... I think only one time has someone never answered me in, in my two-day handling. And I had to go in and I think I put wrong or something wrong with buyer's address. And I didn't get reported. But if the person would have come back to me and said, hey, what's wrong with my address? I would have said to them, well... 
I don't have the item. It already sold on eBay. When I go to choose a reason, that reason is not there. So I picked one. Because in the past, eBay has told me to use that one. And that is true. I was on the phone about three years ago with an eBay rep. And something was going on with an order. I don't remember what it was. And I needed to cancel the order. And I didn't know what to do. Because whatever the situation was, it was not normal. And it was not on the, on the um, drop-down menu. And the eBay rep told me, choose something's wrong with the buyer's address. And I told her, I said, but that's not the, really the truth. And she said, well, you don't really have a choice because it's not there. So I can, in all honesty, tell them that an eBay rep has told me in the past to choose that. I'm not lying. Now, I don't know how long they keep their messages of me calling that was like three years ago. Probably don't keep them. Probably throw them in the trash. Probably delete them. But I know as an honest seller, I'm not being dishonest. You know? Now, I've told you guys when I've sold something on Poshmark and it is sold on eBay. And that, like I said, that rarely happens anymore. I've really been on top of that. That's why I deleted 300 items from Poshmark that were old because I thought... The chances of them having sold on eBay in the last two years and not being taken off is greater than the chances of things that have been sold in the last year and not been taken off because I've really, really been on top of that. I check and double check. Now, there have been times I haven't taken it off my inventory sheet, and I don't know what that's about, but... Alright guys, so please, please in the comments below, let me know what you think about this. Has this ever happened to you before? Is it happening more often now? Is this a new thing? I mean, I don't know. If, this, if these were listed in 2021 and 2022, it seemed like the glitch would have been happening back then, not now. Like, they're not going to pull something from 2021 that sold and put it back up. The glitch is past. How do I fix this? I try to give you guys tips and tricks on this channel, but you know, sometimes whenever I think about taking my channel down and stopping YouTube, I think, no, I learn just as much from my subscribers, maybe even more, than you learn from me. And so what I've developed here is a community of people who help each other. So I'm asking for your help. I'm asking for your suggestions. Sorry, I'm going on a very bumpy road right now. And I hope you'll comment. I don't know if there's going to be a live this week. I'm just feeling so flabbergasted at the whole thing. And working on this podcast has been a lot of work and I've got 148 drafts 148 drafts now they're not photo I have 24 photographed right now that need to be uploaded out of 148 but that's okay I got the measuring and the drafting done and that's the part that really takes the most time so, somebody's U-turning here when they shouldn't be U-turning. Oh, and also, to make matters worse, I've had a weekend, guys. My mail carrier did not pick up my packages on Saturday. Nope. So, I wrote the post office. I'm probably going to get a call today. I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know if I'm even going to answer. I redid my sign. The sign I had before was just cardstock. It says U.S. Pickup. has an arrow below. And it says, thank you. In big red letters. Well, it's kind of faded. And so I got a piece of cardboard. 
that I had and made a brand new sign. It's very sturdy. It should last me a while. But, yep, no postage pickup on Saturday. And I emailed or I messaged my mailman this morning and asked him if he's on the clock today. And he said no. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is if they don't come by like 315, 330. I'm going to have to take this stuff to the post office, which I don't have that many things. I mean, I think I had four on Saturday to send out and maybe six. So there's like 10 items in there. Hopefully they don't complain when I go up to the window. But yeah, that happened also this weekend. All right, guys, we have a lot of stuff going on in our family this week, like I said, and I just don't know. Um, if you want to hang out with me privately, just message me. I probably won't send out a, a link. Just message me, and if I'm working, I will respond to you, and um, we'll hang out. Everyone have an awesome week in sales, an awesome week in your life. Love you guys. Bye.